<laughs> Hello everyone, huge movie fanatic Nate reporting from the lake on a beautiful August night, 2015. Coming at you with one of my world famous naked reviews. I'm just kidding, I actually got shorts on. But I'm coming at you from a kayak on a lake in Minnesota in August 2015 for a, uh, I don't know, I can't imagine, incredibly long review of the movie starring Adam Sandler called his latest opus called Pixels. Now you might be wondering why did you go see Pixels? And I'm like, I gotta admit, you know, kind of like over the winter in the last several years and stuff, never having been an Adam Sandler fan, I've been picking up uh, his movies for two dollars at half-price books on DVD, you know, cheap whenever I can find them to catch up on what I've been missing out on, which I actually, in retrospect, in my opinion, I haven't really been missing out on much. But long story short, you know, the, his, his goofy-ass antics um, kind of grow on you. And, and, and just to be clear, I don't, re I don't think he's like a bad actor. I just think that like the Happy Madison productions that he, of course, you know, owns and whatever, runs or whatever, I just think it's kind of like the most lackluster Outfit or one of the one of the you know definition of a lackluster kind of a movie studio or conglomerate or that's the wrong word but you know what I'm you know what I'm saying production production house you know like Happy Madison Productions and shit so anyway getting on with the review I just saw it because there's this uh, theater near me uh, it's locally owned that you can see a a, a first run movie for five dollars a matinee so I'm like let's just see it. And I think what I was trying to say before is um, I'd seen the preview on, on, on YouTube online, I imagine. And having grown up in the 80s and been a, you know, a child of you know, some of the very first, basically the very first video games in existence, like some of the ones featured, you know, I haven't, I'm not a big fan of, or I didn't grow up with every single, you know, playing every single video game in the movie, but obviously things like Pac-Man, Centipede, stuff like that. I was never a fan of Donkey Kong, but you know, Pac-Man, definitely Centipede things like that and I saw the trailer and I'm like you know that's pretty cool and I learned that I guess some guy had done some I don't know if it was some short some guy had had the idea or whatever and they either stole or you know bought or stole slash bought the idea from this guy I'm not I'm not clear on all the particulars of the history of this movie but it's it's a pretty cool idea which is basically just you know like oh in 1982 or whatever we sent up a you know, Voyager or whatever with all the video games on it and you know, all kinds of shit including video games and the aliens come back to, uh, you know, I can't remember the, the plot other than I suppose the aliens want to take over actually as these video games, which is pretty cool. Now, for me, one of the high points or, you know, the highest point of the movie is actually the uh, the visuals. I mean, the, the graphics are pretty gosh dang great and kind of in that blocky, obviously the movie's called Pixels, so I mean, the, the all the video game stuff are kind of made up of these, you know, giant blocks, which maybe are like about the size of like a Hellraiser cube or something like that, all, you know, put together. And of course, when they're put together in, a, you know, the right colors and the right, you know, geome geometry, geometry, symmetry. Geometry is like, I guess, a combination of the word geometry and symmetry, apparently. What you end up with is, uh, you know, a pixelated version of, of course, what these, you know, half-bit video games were back in the day anyway, very just pixelated and, you know, the graphics were non-existent, obviously, in, in video games like Pac-Man and Centipede and Donkey Kong and etc. So, you know, it's, 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 the good thing about Happy Madison Productions is that uh, the bar is none too high. It's, it's, it's never, it's never very hard to achieve what Happy Madison Productions achieves again and again, which is mostly just shit, in my humble, fanatical opinion. Um, like I say, the the best you know, there's some there's some funny, you know, obviously Adam Sandler, Adam Sandler stick and all this crap. You know, basically, you know, and this is coming from a guy who has hardly seen every one of his movies, but I've seen a lot of them over the over the several whatevers, just catching up on. Um, you know, stuff I'd miss just by buying $2 DVDs and cheap Blu-rays and stuff. It's, you know, it's what you, it's, it's what you, this movie's what you'd expect from an Adam Sandler slash 
Happy Madison production movie. You know, the only thing that's kind of different, and I didn't see it in 3D because, come on, I don't even pay to see 3D in movies that I, you know, actually hope are good. But uh, one of the saving, you know, one of the things that was very surprising is how, you know, good the visual effects are for an Adam Sandler movie. And this is, of course, directed by Chris Columbus, who directed the first, is it two? It might just be two, maybe three, probably two for sure. Harry Potter movies, Home Alone, stuff like that. So Chris Columbus, you know, uh, has a resume or whatever and this and that and stuff. So um, the shtick in the story is, is basically just rehash Adam Sandler shit. You know, it's just Adam Sandler's just... Uh, and so many Adam Sandler movies start the way this one did, of course, with him being a kid and, of course, Kevin James. It's a Happy Madison production, so obviously Kevin James is in it in between the filming of uh, Paul Blart and Model Cop 2 and presumably 3. <laughs> I hope that's a joke. Um, they see, you know, you see Adam Sandler as a kid and Kevin James as a kid and playing these video games that are arcade, you know, it's very much like you've seen kind of like, I don't know, other Adam Sandler movies when he was a kid and stuff before. So, I mean, pretty much, it's so much of what you've seen in an Adam Sandler movie before, but I mean, if that's what you like, kind of like I like Friday 13th movies for the same thing over and over, then I guess you'll, you'll love the movie. It's the same old thing, Adam Sandler's single, he's just this Joe Schmo working at wherever instead of you know, PetSmart or whatever, now it's wherever, he, it's a made-up name and selling electronics, it comes across obviously a beautiful woman and, you know, has this half-ass, you know, somehow Kevin James' character is a president of the United States, I can't remember if they mentioned how he did that, it doesn't matter, not like it's a, you know, not like it's a position anyone would want, or any kind of, of any kind of, you know, anything, of any position of any, what am I trying to say? any position anyone would want or any, of any kind of whatever. So long story short, it's which, what you'd expect, you know, you've seen a lot of the kind of the highlights and stuff and, you know, obviously in the trailers. Um, nothing very surprising, you know, some funny jokes, Adam Sandler, stick and whatever, it's, it's what you'd expect. So I'm going to go one and three quarter stars for Pixels. Surprisingly, you know, visually pretty cool. Obviously there's a lot of like old, I imagine, 70s, 80s, whatever probably 80s tunes and stuff that, you know, obviously me getting on in years and stuff like that and being whatever age I am of the later 30s kind of whatever, it is cool to see like a movie like this that is, so many Adam Sandler movies have done before like uh, Wedding Singer or whatever where they kind of pay homage to the 80s and, and stuff like that and, and kind of you know, keep a, keep a foot or keep a toe in the 80s, like that, just pay homage to an era that's kind of as you know, as I belong to that generation, it's, it's, as, as the years go on, I kind of go more and more, whatever, you know, longing for my whatever. So it, it's, a, it's a cool, you know, one of the biggest, you know, one of the best things about the movie, other than just being visually, you know, the visual effects and the, you know, the idea, the visual effects of the, you know, centipede and Pac-Man. I think I like the centipede part more than the Pac-Man part, where the Mini Coopers are ghosts and all this and that crap. So the best part, other than just the visuals of the computer, you know, the video games and stuff, is going to be just the nostalgia aspect of the movie, which is pretty cool with the older, you know, 80s tunes and just the celebration of the very, the heyday of the beginning of the video game era and stuff. So if, you, if you're a video game aficionado, um, not to say I am, but obviously having grown up in the 80s and stuff and playing all these kind of games and stuff, you're, you know, you're, you're going to appreciate it more. Like, you know, we saw it with a bunch of, like, kids and, like, teens and preteens and shit in the theater, and they obviously probably didn't understand a lot of the references and probably never even played any of these games or don't even know what any of these, game, these games are and so whatever. But obviously, if you're, if you're an appreciator, appreciative of the games and stuff like that in the era, the games in the movie and the era of the movie, you know, whatever, you might like this movie, and if you're a happy, for, for whatever reason you're a fan of Happy Madison Productions, uh, you might like this movie. So once again, one and three quarter stars for Pixels. Um, if I can find the 3D Blu-ray for like three bucks in the future, I'll probably buy it just to see how the 3D is and just curious. It's probably pretty cool with like, you know, Centipede and all this and that. I gotta admit, you know, the what they turned out might have been a little better, you know, as far as just set, set pieces and, and, and stuff like that with the video game aspects and, and Adam Sandler and Kevin James taking these, you know, whatever they were, blasters and blasting the pieces apart 
I mean, it was a little better than I was expecting it to be, like with the set pieces of the video game scenes and stuff. So, not so recommended, but you know, if you can see it cheap, I'd check out Pixels if you're a fan of just those kind of early video games. So, I guess that about does it for uh, my review of uh, the Adam Sandler Smash Blockbuster Pixels. Um, feel free to leave a comment what you thought or what you think of this, the idea of this movie or whatever. And uh, <clears throat> you can definitely be sure to catch me, you know, somewhere naked reviewing more movies when I feel like getting around to doing it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.